Good evening, everyone. I'm Gil O'Brien with Channel 7 News. Tonight we have a very special report on life in Sparta. We have two soldiers by the names of Ajax and Wardell. Let's bring them up. Hello there. Hi. So I understand that you two are in the Spartan military. What's it like? Well, for starters, you must be 18 to 20 years old to pass the fitness test. Tell me more about this fitness test. If you pass the test, then you become a full Spartan citizen. And what happens if you don't pass the test? You become part of the middle class, you have no rights, you can't own land, and you become part of the middle class. Wow, that seems pretty harsh. Indeed. In fact, Ajax's brother didn't pass the test. We never saw him again. Mm-hmm, but why did he never see him again? <sighs> he was put into the middle class and sold into slavery. And how do you feel about this, Ajax? I don't want to talk about it! Um, excuse me, Ajax, we need an answer. I don't want to talk about it. And we'll be right back after this commercial break. Hi there, I'm Donald Trump. If you didn't notice, I'm running for president. My campaign is running low, and we can really use a small loan of a million dollars. Thank you. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. And we're back. Yeah! So, uh, we talked a lot about Spartan military, but there was more to Sparta, right? Actually, we had a pretty well-run government. Oh yeah? Tell me more. Our government was based on a democracy and oligarchy. There were these five people called the Overseers, and they ran day-to-day -day operations and could veto rulings by the assembly. Well, were there any rulers? In fact, we actually had two kings. The two kings only command armies and do religious duties. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Nowadays, we only have one king, and he's called the president. And because we were based on an oligarchy, there was a group of 28 men called the Senate, and they acted as judges and proposed laws to the assembly. Yeah, and the assembly supported or vetoed recommendations of the Senate's recommendations. Wow, that's very interesting, but there's more to ancient Sparta, right? Yeah! yeah! Well, what was everyday life like? Well, because we've been training in the military for so long, we haven't really lived a normal life. But the women in Sparta have freedom rights, unlike other ancient places in the world. Yeah, women were free to move about whenever they wanted. Really? Did they go to school? Yes, our school systems were actually very good. The women were taught gymnastics, wrestling, and combat skills. In fact, they also had to take skills tests at the age of 18. If they passed, they were sent home. And what if they fail? The girl loses her rights and gets sent into the middle class. Wow, that's terrible. Yes. And we'll be right back after this commercial break. January 2017 comes the action-packed film, Lizilla. Be there. And welcome back. There are a lot of interesting facts about Sparta, but where did all of this take place? Sparta was located in, in the southern Peloponnese of Greece. What was the landscape like? There were many mountains surrounding it. It was surrounded by the three seas, the, Aege the Aegean, Mediterranean, and Io Ion. Just a fun fact, Sparta was twice the size of Athens. Those are some cool facts, but how did they make money? Well... They used iron bars as currency. For jobs, sometimes people were farmers, merchants, and artisans. But if they were poor or in need of money, they could always sell themselves into slavery. But Wardell, you can't forget we were forbidden to trade with anyone. How come? We, were, we just weren't allowed to. All right. That is all of our time for today. And make sure to tune in next time for our interview with King Tutankhamun. Thank you. I'm Gil O'Brien.